Hello everyone and welcome back. I have been away for quite some time now. I did move. It's been a hectic past couple of weeks but I am finally in my new space. I believe this has much better lighting than the previous one so I just I'm still trying to figure out like the whole background situation and you know everything but I have to film because it has been about two weeks since I last put makeup on and sat down and did a video so that's what we're going to do today and as you can tell by the title we are going to be discussing my top three favorite makeup products from every makeup category i want to shout out caffeine lights because that is who i saw post that video so i got inspired to do the same because honestly i have been not creative lately with you know content and yeah that's what i wanted to do because i always love talking about favorites so before i make this intro too long let's get right into it um we're gonna start with foundations because i don't really do primer so i would be lying to you if i told you three favorite primers because i do not have favorite primers so favorite primer is sunscreen and we're just gonna leave it at that so my top three favorite foundations might to be drugstore surprisingly but i feel like those are better than high-end sometimes so Top one is definitely the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. This is full coverage. It does not feel cakey on your skin. It is very, I don't want to say liquidy, but it's kind of liquidy. It's not thick, so you know that it's not going to like clog your pores. And the finish is very normal finish. I would say like skin-like finish. So this is my go-to foundation when I don't know what to choose. This one is never going to disappoint. Next favorite is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is an oldie but a goodie. I still reach for this. I have it on my skin today and I love the way it looks on. It just looks like skin. You can't tell I'm wearing foundation, right? This is my natural complexion. <laughs> I wish. Just like this one, it's just very normal finish. It just looks like skin. It just covers everything and makes everything look seamless so that is what i look for in a foundation and my last one is going to be a little bit more heavy this one's more full coverage the covergirl outlast extreme wear uh, three in one foundation i usually wear this when i want like full full coverage like you know you're wearing makeup this one is just going to cover everything completely you know it's not going to disappoint because you're not going to be able to see any imperfections peeking through so this is when i want to do like i don't know go out on a date or go partying or whatever you know i don't really do that anymore but just giving you examples of this one's gonna be way more long lasting and the finish is a little bit more matte but i do like it because it has spf on it as well so these are my top three and moving right along to concealers they're the ones that i have always reached out for the most out of like my entire concealer drawer and first i want to mention the morphe concealer which i have to purchase more and this one is full coverage it's lightweight and it just feels really good it doesn't feel very dry and cakey under your eyes it doesn't sink into my lines same as the tarte shape tape we all know and love and i have been using this one along with the ultra creamy and they both just make a perfect match full coverage you know everybody knows that about the tarte shape tape but this has been my favorite for years and then the lastly i want to shout out the elf hydrating camo because it's just as full coverage but it's a little bit more hydrating on days that i feel like my skin is just a little bit more dry this is the one i reach out for and it never disappoints this is my second or third bottle and yeah i love these three so so much always use these when i don't know what to choose <laughs> so we have powders and then my first one you know already you already know what i'm going to say the white and wild photo focus loose setting powder this is my all-time favorite it covers it sets it just does it all and it doesn't give you white uh flashback when you're taking photos or any of that which is something that i love because it is drugstore it's like five dollars and it's the best next up we have a couple of high-end ones the laura mercier translucent powder i use this on days where I want to set but I don't want to like cover if that makes sense like it just sets your makeup beautifully but it doesn't give you any like type of coverage it's just translucent powder and it does what it has to do and I love it and then next up is a Too Faced for this way setting powder I love this one because it does have a little bit of like a tint like a banana tint to it but it also covers and sets your makeup beautifully and then it doesn't sink into my little fine lines under here and I just love it for any occasion I know these are not going to disappoint me I like speed through these because I don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long <laughs> for blush my all-time favorite I have to say it's their rare beauty blush I know this one's liquid and not most people like to be playing with liquid makeup because it's a little bit more intimidating but the shade joy is my absolute favorite because you you only need a little bit and it goes like a long way it lasts all day on my skin it's impressive with blush and bronzer typically my skin doesn't really like hold 
hold them very well throughout the day looking like splotchy on my cheek after a little bit but this one does not do that it just lasts all day long it's just this is like foolproof like this will last 12 hours plus never tried it for that long but i feel like it would <laughs> next up is the buxom wonderlust blush and this is in the shade mykonos this is my all-time favorite blush I have purchased this several times. My daughter actually broke the last one I had, so I had to repurchase it. Same exact shade, same brand, everything. I just needed to have it in my collection because this is the one that I choose when I'm like out the door. Like, let me just grab a blush. This is the one that I grab. I love it so much. And the shade, it's a little bit pink, which is not my vibe, but it's a little bit like, I don't know. I don't want to say like a mixture of pink and orange. I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but it's like a make, perfect mixture of both. And I don't really do pink blushes. I prefer orange, which brings me to my next product, the CoverGirl True Blend So Flush in Hot Frenzy. I just started using these blushes. This is, this is pigmented, okay? I just started using these blush, this um, CoverGirl blushes this year, but oh my God, the pigment of these is insane. Like I have been loving these so much. And this color is my favorite. I love PG Tones for blushes. And moving right along to bronzers, we have obviously the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This has been my all-time favorite for years and I, I cannot get enough. My daughter, she took her little nails and she started like digging into it. So there was bronzer everywhere in this room and I wanted to lose my mind, but I saved it. I'm still going to use it until I hit pan because I love it so much. Next up is the Hula Caramel from Benefit. This shade is like my perfect shade. It's just like a little bit warm, a little bit orangey, but it still looks like you're like super bronze when you went to the beach. And like I said, can't go wrong. This doesn't smell like anything. This one does, but you know, can't go wrong with the Hula bronzers. Lastly, the best for last is the MAC Give Me Sun. This particular product I have had for like six or seven years, but I do not want to get rid of it until I hit pan because this is like, it looks a lot like the Hula Caramel in like terms of shade. There you go, but this one's a little bit more orange I feel like, but this like is my perfect shade and this I wear almost every time I do my makeup because it's just perfect, it blends so easily. You know, MAC is good for complexion products, everybody knows that, but this one, Give Me Sun, has been my favorite bronzer for years, so I always reach for these. Highlights, I haven't really been highlighting much, but when I do highlight, and I am wearing one today, and if you're wondering where this beautiful dew is coming from, it is not that I'm oily. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Razy Highlight. I know this is probably discontinued, but this is my favorite highlight of all time. Let me just like swatch it right here. It just makes your, you can't really, like it looks better on my face. You can't really, it just looks like you're wet. You know, it looks like wet highlight. It doesn't look, chalky or powdery like you're wearing like a strip of highlight it's just like very subtle dew on your face and that is what i want it to look like when i have highlight on otherwise it's just going to accentuate my texture and i don't like that so it's my all-time favorite next up is the mac another mac product i don't really use like any other mac products than these two the soft and gentle mineralized skin finish oh my gosh this looks kind of like this too but it's just like another option it's like a baked highlighter but it just looks so beautiful, like wetness. It's not like powder highlight, you know? These two are my all-time favorite. And then lastly, the Laura Geller Gilded Honey, which is not a new product either, but it is kind of like that. It's just very smooth and buttery, and it gives you that same finish, but it's a little bit more golden, and I just love it so much. These three are my top three when I do want to highlight, because I haven't been highlighting, I feel like, ever since the pandemic started. <laughs> We are almost done here. I don't want to bore you out of your minds. I go with mascara because it's sitting right in front of me. My all-time favorite has to be the Bad Gal Bang. And I talked about this in my chit chat. Get ready with me, I feel like, or my previous video. This is my all-time favorite. I have it on my lashes today. I'm not wearing falsies. This is all that I have. It is so easy to apply. It's easy to remove. The one thing I don't like about this is that it does smudge throughout the day. So if you have oily skin, it's going to transfer, which I have a problem with this one, but I can't stop using it even if it transfers. I just like clean it up and, you know, move along. But I love it so much. It's my all-time favorite. It gives you volume. It gives you length. I cannot stop raving about it. And then next up, I have the Maybelline Sky High. This is a newer launch, but I have been using this one ever since it came out like pretty much or almost every time I do my makeup that one and the benefit one and this one just separates your lashes beautifully I had to get it on Amazon because it is not found in any store so if you can get it on Amazon <laughs> and then lastly is the climax extreme from NARS this is also a newer release ish 
but this one just gives you like the final oomph, like the final volume. Like you apply this one after one of these two and it just gives you like spidery black thick lashes and I love it so much paired with these two. For um, eyeshadow, I don't really do much shadow. Honestly, if I'm gonna do an eyeshadow look, I just do like in a little bit of like a warm tone in my crease, maybe a shimmer on the lid and then move right along. And I have been really loving the e.l.f. Bite Size palettes for a long time. I cannot put this down. There, I have like five of them, like whatever as many colors came out, I have all of them. And when I do, when I do want to do an eye look, these are what I use because I know they, they are going to be creamy and buttery and they're going to blend like a dream and they're going to last on my face and they're just $3. So these you cannot beat. And then my next favorite shadow, I'm, I'm only going to mention two because these are just like my, my go-to brands for shadow. The ColourPop shadows are also amazing. This is what I have on my eyes today. The Wild Child specifically is my favorite palette because these colors are just, oh my gosh, like the best. These are like my jam. <laughs> the formula for Dose of Colors Liquid Lipsticks is unbelievable. It is very soft. It is long lasting. It does not feel dry like most liquid lipsticks. It just feels so good on your lips and it lasts all day through food and drinks. It's just the best out there. And then right next to that is the Smashbox Liquid, liquid Lipsticks. I believe these are called the Always On Liquid Lipsticks. These last I feel like more than that one but it does feel a little bit more dry after a few hours than the dose of colors that one just feels like you're wearing like a regular lipstick this one just feels a little bit more dry but the pigmentation and the formula on these is out of this world so this one i feel like is the one that i grab almost as much as the dose of colors and then lastly the stila liquid lipsticks are also very comfortable on the lips and the pigmentation is amazing so this is the one that i use when i want to do like a red lip this is the color beso which is very fitting for this one <laughs> and yeah these are my top three liquid lipstick picks not necessarily the shades maybe the dose of color yeah the truffle from dose of colors is my favorite shade but these two i just wanted to mention like the formulas and the brand for that specific type of makeup category for the very last um product today we're going to talk about glosses and my favorite gloss has to be the Two Faced lip glosses. I know these are lip plumping, but they're not that bad. Like you can't really feel the tingliness, tingliness on your lips for a long time, even if you feel it at all. I, in my case, I don't really feel any tingling. These lip glosses are probably my favorite lip glosses because it just make, makes your lips look so juicy and so glossy. These are not what I'm wearing today though. I am wearing the Alamar Cosmetics, the Snudas. This is in the shade Coqueta, and this is my favorite brown lip gloss. It just look at how like glossy and beautiful it looks i love it so much it's very it's a little bit too thick for my liking but the color and the glossiness and the the way that it lasts on your lips is just amazing i love it so much i want to get more shades and then lastly i've been really into the buxom plump shot so i mean i know buxom has different like shades of glosses but the buxom lip glosses are so good and this one specifically the plump shot it just makes your lips so plumped if you want to like look like you got lip injections but you really didn't just put this on i'm sure you've seen it around tiktok it's it's really that good i feel like I, i'm not really gonna do setting spray because i also don't wear set, setting spray that much so I, I would be lying to you but yeah that is it for my top three makeup products for every category i hope this was helpful for you on the market for any of these products i hope you like these kinds of videos i am happy to be back and hopefully next time you see me it won't be in two weeks <laughs> You guys for stopping by today and as always i really appreciate it if you subscribe and give me a big thumbs up and i'll see you on my next video bye